back in 2005, uh, built a Buell Custom using this donor bike. Um, we took the motor, uh, front end, and some other parts off this one and put it into a custom built frame. Uh, as you can see here, there's not much left of the bike. Um, there's a frame that came in from the builder and we got it powder coated, gloss black. And then the build began, the motor got installed. Um, we used the outer support bracket for the front sprocket because of the 300 rear tire we didn't use the performance machine wheels they're too valuable so we found another set to modify uh, these were off of another x1 and as you can see the rear wheel is widened quite a bit the diameter went to 18 and then we powder coated them with uh, gunmetal gray the paint job came back great looking real pretty red Awesome job by Scott and St. Pete. Uh, beginning the wiring, custom made dash. We used the factory Buell tack and an oil pressure gauge. We called it the Bonneville Special. I know Triumphs used that, but we thought it would be nice looking on this one. As you can see, that's a really big rear wheel. And there's the bike completed. It made it into a feature for American V magazine over across the seas over in Great Britain. Um, the photo shoot was done on the Atlantic coast, just north of Daytona. And the feature was really nice. We enjoyed, uh, enjoyed building this one. The current owners of the bike reside in Clearwater, Florida now. Uh, and uh, they report that they ride it regularly and enjoy the bike a lot. Thanks for watching the video. I'm Steve Carr, Samson V-Twin, Samson, Alabama.